According to our the visit Boulder, Boulder friends, the Boulder region enjoyed an estimated $113 million in economic impact through six home football games due to the prime effect. We finally have firm numbers for year one of the prime effect. $113 million in year one. That is insane. We always estimated. We always talked about what could be the eventual regional impact. But $113 million, the Boulder area, the regional area got $113 million in year one of Coach Prime coaching. That is the Prime Effect. We've done a number of videos. I'll put them in the description below following the, the Prime Effect as it's gone on through the year. But this was exact numerical data showing how much money prime has brought to the boulder area by the way this is a city that's away from denver okay people got to fly into denver and travel to boulder and it's cold a lot of the year and this man has brought in over a hundred something million dollars i'm not even here to talk about the prime effect you know by the way this is a game week coming up if you want to we'll break down each and every game like we always do each and every season but this video is just to say, look, I don't care what happens this season. This man is going very, very methodically about building a team and bringing it to to the nation uh, in the Big 12, first year in the Big 12. I am saying I don't care what the record is, y'all. You need to give this man another contract. I've said that in videos before. You don't understand how crazy this is. You're now in the big leagues, people. They see this man's brought a hundred and something million. They've seen this man's able to turn around a program that goes from, you know, one game or zero games winning the year before to galvanizing a fan base and really having a decent season before it fell out. Now, this man can have a decent season. If this man has a decent season, you all will not be able to match the money. I'm just saying. I know y'all got bread up there, but talking about advantageous places where people want to coach at, Florida, Texas, somewhere in the south, in the SEC, in a Power Four conference, they're going to pay this man. So y'all need to go ahead and put money in his uh, account right now. That's, that's my advice to you all because – I'm talking, I was saying Florida, the state, but I'm talking about Florida, University of Florida. I don't know what's going to happen there. And if you think y'all got enough money uh, with those boosters down there, good luck. Good luck. Because the SEC is a different type of check, right? So it's not only that school, but that's the one that's blaring. That Their coach may not make the whole season. You talk about other people that might move within the conference, it's literally nothing for Coach Sark to be given a check and for him to be an NFL head coach. So now you have another SEC school in Austin, which is down the street. I mean, it's not too close, but it's close to Dallas enough. It's only like a three, four-hour drive, whatever it is. This man, can you think y'all got enough money to deal with UT Austin? The only advantage you all have right now is to put a contract together to lock him up and put uh, to lock his services up and to put the buyout clause at a, at, a, at a point where it's just insane because Texas will pay that. University of Texas also will pay that to have that man come there. And they had Charlie Strong there before, so don't, don't act like they won't hire a, a black coach. Okay, He'll be coming into a situation where – they can get any kid in Texas they want because it's Coach Prime. So don't think that can't happen. So I, I just want you all to understand, we're talking about the big leagues here now, folks. We're not talking about the the mid-majors. We're not talking about the, the power four on the bottom half. Like, this man is there. So any big-time opening where the money and the pockets are deep, look out. Look out. This man likes Texas. He likes Florida. So I, I can see him there before before you know it. Now, if there's one thing Coach Prime has been clear on, it's that he does not want to coach in the NFL. There's rumors out there, of course, and maybe, you know, that can be changed. But he's been clear on, I don't want to coach in the NFL. It's going to be my last year coaching with my sons. So does that mean he's going to stay in Colorado since his sons are gone? I don't think so. So the man, I just went over Florida. 
I just went over Texas, where he likes to live primarily, and Florida, that's the state he's from. Oh, by the way, there are other big legacy programs that would really intrigue him. All right? I think the brother in UCLA is going to be there a long time. Deshaun Foster is going to be there a long time. However, will the coach at USC be there a long time? He is a fantastic offensive mind. Lincoln Riley can easily get an NFL head coaching job. And now he's taking a quick trip, a quick flight out west to Los Angeles where he, he's often been. He's He always went out to Los Angeles when he was on the NFL network, when he was um, – uh, doing different things for the uh, senior bowls and covering stuff like that for the NFL. He's, he could be right there. And you can't tell me he can't galvanize a, 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 a region because he's done it. He's done it in Boulder, Colorado. He's done it at uh, Jackson, Mississippi. So wherever he goes, the community is going to galvanize him. We're going to be there. The, the folks going to be there. And we're going to be spending uh, a big consumer footprint and that's showed with this announcement, with this, with this $100 million, $113 million impact on Boulder. So the question I have for you all, why haven't a Brinks truck pulled up to this man's home? Why haven't y'all bought this man's home? Because when you talk about different perks, that's one of the perks that Nick Saban got. He had a big old home on whatever lake or, or river out there in Tuscaloosa, and he didn't pay for a thing. All the only thing he had to pay for was his businesses because that's his own business. He sold, you know, Mercedes Benz dealerships or whatever. But all his cars were paid off by Alabama. All of his homes where he was was paid off by Alabama. He had private jet use. So if y'all not doing that already, y'all might be you might want to get around to that, bro, before North Dakota State come uh kick the season off. Just, just FYI, y'all let me know if I'm tripping because I know I'm not. I know how the big games go. When he started getting recruited for Colorado, it was before the season ended at Jackson State. So you don't think that's going to happen if they fire the coach at Florida, Bill um, Napier, in the middle of the season? Y'all don't think the AD is going to be calling his agent and having him come by? Y'all better wake up. Heritage Sports.